The Tibetan Terrier is one dog that has presence all over the world. Though it is medium in size, it can be found in most of the countries making up in the universe. In the ancient Tibet, the Tibetan Terrier is a breed that is believed to be sacred as they are perceived to bring good luck to the owner. Do you consider purchasing a Tibetan Terrier? In this video, you will learn everything about the breed based on 8 topics, so you can find out if this dog is best for you. Number 1. Origin this breed of dogs originated from a group of founder animals which are smaller in number, which is imported from the border region spanning between Tibet and India, Central Himalaya. This was at the beginning of the 20th century. The breed was developed by Tibetan monks and serves the purpose of the monastery sentries and sheep herders to the monks. In the history of the breed, two lineages were established in the western countries. The first and older lineage is the Lamle lineage. The lineage history had it traced back to the first two animals, Bunti and Raja, and these two were acquired by Dr. Agnes Grieg in 1922, and they were brought to England in 1930. The second lineage is the Loonville lineage. This lineage was founded by John Downey in Liverpool in 1953, and it was formed through a process by mating Dusky and a stray dog. The dogs were later registered as Tibetan Terriers and named Trojan Kynos and the female as Princess Aureus. Number 2. Personality the Tibetan Terrier is very amiable and affectionate dog. It is a very good family dog which is sensitive to its owners. The Tibetan Terrier has a very good temperament which makes it to be loving, gentle and loyal. These characteristics make him a desirable family pet. It is a very intelligent dog, clever and with the intent of determination. When left alone for too long, the Tibetan Terrier can suffer from separation anxiety. The Tibetan Terrier is not aggressive towards strangers. This makes it a suitable breed as a watchdog, but it is characterized with acting reservedly around people he does not know. The breed is not a good guard dog, but if left unattended too, the sensitive part of its nature can grow into lack of courage, or it can make it be excessively suspicious of everyone that comes across it. Through grooming, the bond of relationship between the Tibetan Terrier and the owner becomes strengthened. Number 3. Appearance the Tibetan Terrier has a well-muscled body. They can grow up to 15 inches, which is 38 centimeters, and weigh up to 24 pounds, which is 11 kilograms. The pronounced double coat fur is beautiful. It is woolly underneath and the top coat is long and fine. The Tibetan Terrier is double coated. The undercoat is woolly and it is resistant to moisture and it serves as a natural insulator. The texture of the coat can vary from being soft to being hard and it can be more or less prone to mating. Grooming of the coat should be done two to three times a week as it only sheds seasonally. The natural coats of the Tibetan Terrier can withstand anything that nature throws at it. The head has long hair covering it but the falling hair does not cover the eyes of the dog, so it is not impeding the dog's ability to see. The eyes are large, round, and they are fairly set to be wide apart. The ears are in V-shape and are not too large, but they are massively covered with fur. They have a very strong and muscular neck, which is of medium length, which allows for the head to be carried above the back level. This gives the dog a balanced appearance. Number 4. Trainability the dog's breed is easy to train, with a great tendency to bark and howl. They're also in need of positive reinforcement if the owner wants the training to be effective. The required techniques are praise, play and food rewards. As part of the techniques needed, training must be consistent and fun to them because they can sometimes have their own agenda. To effectively cater for them, as part of their training, they must be allowed to get used to brushing and examination of furs when they are puppies. If they're not accustomed to this since infancy, to get them to do it at maturity can be very challenging. Number 5. Time Investment to cater for a Tibetan Terrier is time consuming. It is only with patience and expending time with the dog that one can house train them. This process takes time, but with patience, the owner can be successful. To be healthy, they need regular brushing and bathing, which should be done at least once in a month. They need daily exercise so that they can live appropriately well in apartments. For as much as the breed plays outside, the dog needs to bathe. To keep the Tibetan Terrier free of bacteria and tartar, it is advisable to brush its teeth daily. The breed is an all-purpose one. They can follow the owner to the location of any kind of job. Number 6. Best Home 
The best home to a Tibetan terrier is a home that is well fenced and secured so that they can have space to play. The dog is one of the most suitable breeds for kids as they are known to be playful, energetic and affectionate towards children. It is not advisable that they are left outside for long periods though, but they are breeds that can adapt to any variety of homes and household. They are to live indoors and not at the backyard or kennel. If the home or environment where the Tibetan Terrier lives in is boring, they have the tendency to be barking and channel a route of escape. They are perfectly capable of jumping or climbing the fence. They can as well dig a hole under the fence to perfect their escape. Number 7. Health The Tibetan Terrier, like every other dog, has its own health challenges. They suffer from a variety of ailments that can affect their agility and actions. Some of the ailments they suffer from include progressive retinal atrophy, which degenerates the eye order and it can lead to blindness eventually. Lens luxation, which is a disorder the dog inherits, that occurs when the lens is not properly positioned in the eye of the dog. And hip dysplasia, which is a health challenge in which the femur does not fit into the pelvic socket of the hip joint snugly. The average life expectancy is between 15 and 16 years. Number 8. Costs Based on the findings from the AKC Marketplace, to own a Tibetan Terrier, it will cost between $1,800 and $2,500. Other ancillary costs include certification and registration, which range from $38 to $45. Transportation costs for airlines is between $125 and $200. To train the dog, it will cost between $150 and $175. When taking the dog to the veterinary, cost of getting a checkup can range between $35 and $50. So what do you think about the Tibetan Terrier? Let us know in the comments and share your experience for other interested dog owners. And if you found this video helpful, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. And if you're interested in dog brain training and training methods, you should check out the description. Thank you so much for watching. 